hope this is recorded. Okay, so the problem is in the in the declination axis. So if I remove the the clutch completely and then take off the, the side panel. I should have did this already, but I forgot. There are several spots on the on the rotation of the declination axis where the where the motion is quite lumpy. So you can see if I start to move it, it's currently sitting in one of them, and it takes quite a bit of pushing to get it out, and then it leaves. And the tube itself, with all my kit, is quite quite well balanced, but there is a lot of resistance in the motion. And if I go back to this main sticking spot, you'll see it rock into the spot. Is there so again it's rocking in and now I have to push it quite hard to get it through this point and then there's another one you see it rocking and then there you see it again rocking rocking back into that position so and the whole time nothing in here is actually moving so I don't think there are any problems with the with the worm or with the gear because everything is, is completely stationary inside there's, this is the main second one there you've just seen it rocking back and forward and then it takes quite a bit of pushing to get it out of there uh, and then again all, all in the north is fine we don't really slew here very often but in, in this position here is where sky flats are taken and if I take sky flats uh, and then for whatever reason don't observe for bad weather and I try to park from this position it just never parks properly and I think because it's trying to overcome this piece, this original uh, sticky part, this bit, and then yeah, it never quite goes to, to zero degrees of declination for a proper park. Um, I think that's everything. So, so the main the problem isn't here. The problem seems to be between here and here, inside the in with the, the bearings or the shaft or. Okay, so I hope. Uh, Problem we have here is a little bit clearer now. Thanks very much.